Are you tired of tipping for, well, everything? You're not alone. We're tipping more money more often, and frankly, it's tipping a lot of uh, people off. Professor at the University of Guelph, Mike Von Massow, has been researching tip fatigue, and he joins us now this morning from beautiful Alora. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so Canadians have always tipped pretty well. We know that, even when the service is not so great. So why are people getting so frustrated now? Well, I think what we're seeing is is a combination of tipflation, so tips are going up, and tip creep, more and more people are asking us for tips. And in fact, it's becoming more aggressive. Well, in in some cases, sort of tip was, uh, was the opt-in for tipping. And now, in many cases, because of these payment machines, we're having to opt out, and we're being prompted to higher and higher values. So I think people are saying, well, wait a minute. Uh, the rules seem to be changing. I don't have any, I don't seem to have as much discretion anymore. I'm being pushed a little bit further than I'm comfortable. And, 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 and I think we're going to see some, some sort of rebound from that. And you're right. You know, when you get the, when you get handed the thing, when you've already, when you have to decide what tip you're going to give, the baseline seems to be like 18%. And then your next options are like 20, 25%, in some cases, 30%. How did we get here? Well, I think th th People are just making presumptions. I think to a degree, we we saw many of us tip a little more during the pandemic. We knew restaurants were struggling. We you know we had our local favorite institutions, and we wanted to make sure those people were were doing okay. And and I think we're getting the presumption that that might continue. Where many of us thought, well, maybe we'll go back to quote unquote normal. Uh, and and I think also that there is this the that you know. Restaurants have struggled. They're struggling to get people, and and they're saying, "Well, let's let's see what we can get. Maybe we can make it without uh, without having to pay more. We can get more for the staff." You know, I'm not begrudging people the money by any stretch, but but I'm just wondering if this is the best way to do it. And we're seeing, as as you guys were speaking about earlier, many of us getting a bit frustrated. How much of that tip is going to the server? Well, I think that varies from uh, from restaurant to restaurant. Many restaurants are sharing with the back. And, and during the pandemic, when uh, things were tougher, in many cases, we saw sort of more even sharing across the board. But in some cases, we know that uh, it's not all going to the staff. And in some of these new situations, where we don't, uh, where we don't have sort of a historical tipping convention, we're not sure at all if that's going to, to servers. So I, it's something that I always ask: who's getting it and who's yeah. getting a share? Yeah, and also, you know, the argument: why don't you just pay the servers more, and then um, that can be priced in in a way. Well, you know, it, for, for many of us, the, the tip at the end is an uncomfortable situation, mm -hmm. and it's getting more so as we're getting nudged. I've seen minimums as high as, as 22%. And, and so the, the question becomes, is this the best model for us to be using? Or in fact, would we be better off paying more? Because that, you know, I mean, it's easy to say we should, we should get rid of tipping. It means we'll pay more to eat out, right. but it will mean that servers and cooks and other minimum wage workers will be paid in, in a much more predictable fashion. Listen, Mike, I'd be more comfortable with that. I mean, I would pay more and expect to pay more if I knew that they were being paid more, the people that were serving, and then I wasn't left with that uncomfortable moment at the end where I feel guilty when I pick, let's say, 18%, and they're offering, I could pick 30%. So in terms of where we go from here, where do you see the tipping trends going? Well, I think I think restaurants and others need to be careful that they don't push us too far, mm. uh, and and so uh, I think this tip creep where more and more people, you know, uh, I had someone tell me yesterday that the grocery store had a tipping prompt, and so right. I think people are going to react negatively. We know nudging works. We know the research says that nudging works, but we also know that people will actually go pretty far the other way if they feel that they're being taken advantage of. I'd like to see, in the long run, us pay people properly. Mm -hmm. uh, those of us who are customers get uh, uh, pay more, pay what this is worth. People get a living wage. But I think that it's going to take some time. And, and it's mostly because staff are more resistant than, than customers. We've got some research that suggests uh, as customers, we're, we're happier in many cases when we don't have that uncomfortable, as you said, guilt feeling <laughs> at the end. Yeah, well, Mike, uh, this is the end of our time. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning.
Well, thanks for having me. Have a great day. You as well. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.